so what's happening all my uh, favorite people out there um last week i was hit with something pretty hard um my ex girlfriend from like uh elementary school and high school and throughout my years she passed away last week so i've just been kind of taking that in um i made a video yesterday carving something it will be out on uh this weekend i just need to get edited edited it yet but it'll be more of a storing telling video so but it's probably the hardest video i've ever made but anyways so what we're gonna do here today to get my mind off things since i've been liking eating the blackberry so much I decided I'm going to make myself some blackberry jam. So today I'm going to be the yes, I'm going to be a master chef. And let's get this story started here. We got our thing here for the blackberries. I'm going to tie this around my neck. I got some wire here to tie it up. I got my chainsaw in case I need to cut deeper into the blackberry. So let's get the party started. So here's my carving tent. So let's just uh, take a slow zoom and look at all these blackberry bushes we got. They're big, fat, juicy ones this year. So let's get to let's get to it when i pick blackberries i like to pick the big juicy ones look at that oh right into the bucket yep bingo i got the bucket around my neck so i can pick blackberries two-handed oh look at that big juicy one i better eat that one watch out for spiders lots of spiders like blackberries anyways i'll keep picking Got some in there so far. So like I said, I like to pick the big fat juicy ones, but when you're making the jam, you don't always need to pick, pick the big fat juicy ones because you know, you know what they say? Every drop makes a puddle, right? Look, double fisting, picking blueberry, uh, blackberries. See this? They're just loading up super fast. And what you gotta do is you gotta get it done. But I do have a problem because when I do find a big juicy one, I always eat it on the spot. But anyways, let's carry on. So anyways, let's just move over here. See what we got here. And sometimes it's good to, uh, there's a juicy one. Sometimes it's good to uh, like put the ones with a bit of red on them. Put them in too, because it will give your jam a bit of bite, right? This is an old traditional uh, recipe I got here. So I might share that with you guys a bit later on in the video. Let's uh, move on down over here. Yeah, I think so. I see some big juicy ones. I'm not much of a cook myself because well, when I cook, I always eat the food before it's done cooking. Oh. Look at the size of this one. Got to eat it. This is what you'd call double fisting, uh, yeah, double fisting blue bit blackberries, right? Like, oh, it's just loaded. Big one, eat it. Okay, so how about I get all these? Uh, how about we move locations pretty soon down over there and, you know, oh, watch for spider webs. Don't get spider bites. I just like to keep my mind occupied. And it's nice to be out here in the fresh, beautiful, sunny day. Eating blackberries. What could be better? Not lot so far. Okay, so now we're in the sun here. So uh, there's some big juicers here too. Let's turn our hat around backwards so well we can get some sun on our face. Oh, look at the size of this one. That is a juicer. Okay, fun time's over. Let's get these berries picked, go back to the home fort and start making some jam. Loaded, she's loaded. Okay, so we're doing pretty good in the bucket here. Let's uh, carry on down there. That's where the real gems are. Yeah, over there. Carrying on. Oh. oh, that's our one. I almost got hit by a spider. Holy fucking shit. And sometimes you just hit the mother load. Yep, look at that, look at that. Oh, it's a juicer. What's on the bottom there? Don't want that one. 
I don't know if you guys can see over there, but they got honeybees on the farm now. Um, the farmer's friend brought some in, so it's really good for the uh, area. And uh, he's given me a couple jars of the honey, and boy, is it ever good. He's got them all over Ladner. So just leave the bees do their thing and uh, get some honey. Yep. Okay, so here's the blackberries I got. I don't know how much it's gonna make. I bought this thing for like uh, these jars at Walmart for like 10 bucks, 11 bucks, probably too many. I bought some measuring cups. I needed to have some here anyways from the dollar store for four bucks. I bought this stuff. It's to make it like kind of like get hard jello stuff. I don't know. I've never done this. This is a potato masher I bought from the dollar store. Some sugar. This thing's like a, a filter thing, that go, a funnel thing that goes in here. You pour the blackberries in here and it, it's, I bought it for two bucks. And don't forget about a bag of cookies while I'm making this jam. So, what I'm going to do is put these blackberries in this pan, this pot thing or bowl, and wash them off and strain them out. Okay. Oh, it's already juice in there. And would you look at that? Would you look at that? I'm just going to wait till the water gets cold. And then I'm going to put cold water in here and just kind of. I don't know. Wash them, they say. Then I'll strain it. Okay, so I got them all washed pretty well. I got uh, picked out some weird stuff that was in there. Maybe spider babies or something. Eggs, spider eggs. So let's uh, put this in this strainer. I might have to do it a couple times because the strainer is not that big. Ah. Okay, so they're strained and we'll put them back in the pot. I'll just pick these ones out of the sink, put them back in there. No big deal. Okay, so I got them in this pot on the oven. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to turn it up and I'm going to start mashing them with my uh, potato masher. I think I'm going to turn this to it kind of goes to a semi boil. I'm just not sure. I'm going to have to watch more YouTube videos first. Um, before I've gone on and watched YouTube videos about this again because I watched a whole bunch last night I made a big mistake. I needed to count how many cupfuls Are in here because say if there's like 10 cups you need to use 8 or 10 cups of sugar too So I need to find out the cupfuls So I'll just put this back in here And then I'll count out the cupfuls into here from into here to here. Yep One, two, three. Okay, so it's basically four and a half cups. I'm gonna have to remember that because then we're gonna need, I think I'll use four cups of sugar. Four and a half. Guys, it's jam, it's not good for you. So I got told by a um, lady, don't go chintzy on the sugar if it, Four and a half, four and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up to a medium boil, so not so it's boiling, but just so it's kind of bubbling. You guys got this? Carving Fusion Green Man Spoon. Yep, I'll mix it up with this. This will make it taste even better. Okay, so it's boiling just pretty perfect right now. I got the masher, I'm mashing a bit. I'm gonna leave the seeds in this. I like the seeds in my jam. You can strain it so you don't get the seeds. Also, I got told from a lady, actually, well, my ex-girlfriend's mom, I spoke to her after she saw, anyways, I spoke to her today and she told me just read the instructions on this. So, I got all my sugar mixed, whoa, let's turn this down. I got all my sugar mixed up here and I'll mix that in in a bit. Let's just turn this down so it doesn't boil and create mess like this because this stuff stains, right? Look at my hands. Look, it's splashing everywhere, so. Just a, a slow boil, not a crazy boil, or it's going to get a freaking mess like this. So I also got the lids from the jars, uh, kind of it's going to be in hot water with uh, hot water and uh, vinegar. So I got told it disinfects them. So then I'll do that and then this and I'll do this and <laughs> you tell me. Okay, so this has been boiling for about 10 minutes. I got this sugar, this is six cups, that's what they suggested. I'm just doing the instructions. So we'll pour this in. I hope this pot's going to be big enough. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Why is this in here? It should be my spoon. Okay. Just mix her up and I'll let this boil and get mixed up, I guess. I think I'm going to need more cups, more jars. Oh, look at this big pot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Awesome. Okay, so this stuff is, what's it called, Peakton? This is the liquid stuff. This is what the directions tells me, uh, four cups of the berry, four and a half cups of the berries, six and a half cups of sugar, but I only did six, and uh, one of this liquid thing here, so I'll open this up, pour, uh, pour it in here. Um, another thing too, this recipe comes from uh, Bella Hella, yeah, the, hall, the Great Hall, I can't uh, tell you guys, so there's a couple uh, extra ingredients that I'll be putting in here, but I just... Sorry about that. I can't tell you. Or when my time comes, I won't. I won't be going to Valhalla. Don't ask me how I know them. I just do. Okay. Look at this. I just had it boiling, and a YouTube video said that when it's boiling too much, take it off. Oh, look at that. So I got this pan here, cookie pan. I guess that's what it's called. Um, I got the glass, the jars in hot water. And I'll guess I'll put a jar here. Put that there. Put this there, and start pouring. Did I buy that spoon to do the pouring? I watched the video, but he said to put put these in warm water because if these are cold and then you put a hot liquid in the jars, they might break. So I don't know. So you can see here, it's just like, oh, the elegance of Valhalla Blackberry Jam. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, so, time to start pouring. I'm just trying to think if I forget, a, if I forgot a step or not. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. So let's just do a test of the consistency of this Valhalla Jam. So we'll get a little bit here. And we'll put it on the plate, paper plate, let it cool off a little bit and see how runny it is because it shouldn't be that runny. It's supposed to be jam. You don't want to have watery jam, right? Okay, so it's been about two minutes, a little bit watery, but I think you're pretty safe to go. See, let's taste it. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Yes. Okay, so I got this ladle. You see the lip is on the left side, but I'm left-handed, so I would go like this and pour it in here. But anyways, just carry on. Get some guts in there. And pour it in. There. That's full enough, maybe a couple, maybe a little bit more. Perfect. So, and we got these caps here, these things in the water. Oh, yeah, I got told from the video to get a uh, wet, damp paper towel and wipe the edge of this the jar because you don't want anything on there because it won't seal if there's something on there. So I'll wipe this off, put this on and put the lid on. Things, things. Okay, eight done. I got four more jars left. Let's see. Grab a cap. Oh, gotta wipe off the shit. Sorry, guys, I'm holding my camera and doing this at the same time. Gotta wipe off the edge of this thing here. 
put your cap up on like this. Get your lid and just tighten it up like I gotta put it in my other hand. Tighten it up just so your finger tighten it, not your palm, but just your fingers. Okay, so this is what I, was extra. It's kind of liquidy. I hope it kind of, it's still hot. But I hope it kind of jellies up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a half. And I got one thing left. So they're still hot. I got this thing too. It's like, a, I don't know, you put your things, put some water in here, put your thing things in here and boil it. And then you'll hear the lids pop. But I don't know if I need to do that. I'm going to watch a video on it right now if I do. Put water in here, you, I guess you boil the water and the lid pops and it kind of seals these things. Okay, so I got this thing for 25 bucks at Walmart. I think all together like 25, 35, maybe 40 bucks I spent on stuff to make this, including the jars. So this, you just put your jars in here, I guess. Oops, fuck. Okay, so whatever, you put your jars in here and it's got to come to a boil, then you time it for um, 13 minutes. Some lady said she seems like she knows what she's doing on YouTube. Oh, fuck, that's hot. And uh, pardon my language. I can't get them all in there, so I'll just won't do these ones and I'll uh, give these away. So I don't know, I'll wait till it comes to a boil, then I'll time it for 13 minutes and maybe I'll hear the lids going I don't know, you? Okay, you can see it's boiling now, so let's set the timer for 13 minutes. Whew. Okay, so back with Curve Infusion Master Cooking Baking, whatever you call it. It's been boiling for um, 13 minutes. Let's turn the heat off and um, some lady on YouTube says let them chill out so we'll let them chill kitchens clean too I hate a messy kitchen my bedroom's messy but I hate a messy kitchen anyways I've left the lid off this one because I want it to cool quicker but you can see it's kind of what's the word coagulating I know, I know that's the name of uh, blood when it coagulates gets like jelly anyways Okay, they seem pretty cool now, so what I'm going to do is I'll take them out with uh, these rags. I'll grab this rack thing and put them in the sink and just let them cool down. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So now I got told to uh, leave them for 24 hours. I still got the extra ones here, but I'll give these to my uh, neighbors. And this one's still coagulating, but you can see it's starting to firm up. Maybe I'll put it in the fridge. So all you people out there thinking, why did he waste $25 to buy a big pot like this just for jam? Well, it's not just for jam. I didn't have a pot for my big enough local corn in the cob. <laughs> it's still warm. It's still warm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, the corn was deadly too. But anyways, stay tuned for another edition of Cooking with Carve Infusion. 